Hey everyone, my name is Kelly Wolf and welcome back to Noel the Mortal Fate. So we made a deal, well we got tricked into making a deal with a devil, and then we got our limbs taken and kind of attempted murder by evil mayor secretary there. But now we have been mysteriously saved and got like artificial limbs or some crap. Oh, 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 oh wow, ouch. There has to be some tricks to walk properly with these legs. Oh no. Wait a minute. How do I get up? How do I get up? <laughs> Shimmy sham those legs. <sighs> I managed to stand up. Every time I fall down, do I have to put this much effort using a wall and my body to stand? Well, you know, a normal person does use their body to stand. Am I gonna fall again? <laughs> The kitchen hasn't been used for a while. I think this might be Jillian's place. I'm just guessing, I don't know. A fridge. It looks like it's working, but it's impossible to open it. Nothing in this house works. There, like there's holes and stuff in this place and everything. And what are these? Malika is very dusty. Maybe no one has used it for a while. Yep, it's an old house. A very weird looking house. There's a locker in here. Hey, this is totally Jillian's house. There's a piano here. Ugh. All I can do is walk slowly and try not to fall. By the way, after that, what happened to me? Are, are you talking to me? I'm not even sure where I'm... But I'm still alive after I was thrown into the sea. And now I have these artificial legs. Okay, how did Jillian afford those fake legs? That's what I want to know. That means someone saved me. But who? And how? Who and how indeed. A locker, but there's no way to see what's inside. I just want to know why she has a locker. <laughs> it's our house. An old piano. Noah wanted to hear the sound. But she has no arms. She reached for the piano without th thinking, but then realized she can't touch it. Cause she got no arms. Wow, is this a town? What the heck? They live in like in some weird alleyway apartment? I'm not familiar with this area. <sighs> Where? Okay, why does she just leave me in this house by myself? Outdoor fan is making noise. I wonder who waters the plants on the street. Is is this like going to another area? Or, okay, it's just it's just some random walkway that just ends randomly. What? Well, what is this? North Slums, current location. Residence Hill, Top Square, South Slums, Gremlin Shop. Weird. Hey. Man. He is suspiciously staring at me. He doesn't look friendly enough to talk to. Weird. Uh, why are they all suspiciously staring at me? Weirdos. Oh no, no one looks decent. Are you sure you're not just biased? I'm tired from walking around with artificial legs. Maybe it's better to go back. Should I go back? I want to explore! I'm a little scared of using stairs with my artificial leg. I mean, understandable, you could barely walk on like flat, a flat surface. So, stairs, you probably won't do so well. Whoa. Wait, is this, is this Karen? Welcome back, you're up. Wait, you saved me? Why did you just bring me into some random person's house? Eep, you are. The Superfly Devil! Calm down now. A great devil doesn't attack humans without a good reason. I remember. You took my arms and legs. How dare you! <laughs> She's so... I mean, you made the deal. I guess that's a natural reaction. <sighs> well, that's alright. Because you didn't know all the details. However, it's no one's fault you ended up like that. It's definitely your own stupidity. W what You owe me some explanation. Where am I? And what happened after that? Okay, okay. Stop getting so worked up or your stitches will open. Okay, who sealed those stitches, man? I'll tell you everything. So just calm down. You're not going to lose anything else. There's no reason to rush. Conversation with the Great Devil. Surprisingly, the Great Devil Karen is going to explain her current situation. You better listen to what he has to say. Why did I need a hint for that? <laughs> what the heck are these? Where am I? Have been building. Why are you here? Close. Okay, let's ask all of these. I guess. 
First of all, where am I? In an abandoned house in the slums, no one lives here. Who the hell leaves a grand piano in an abandoned house? Thought this was Jillian's place. Slums? I only know about slums from textbooks. Why am I in such a place? Because you're a criminal who made a deal with the devil. That's true, it is against the law. If you go to a hospital, they will ship you to prison right away. Well, that's awkward. That time, could you tell me what happened to me in that abandoned building? I don't mind telling you, but be prepared for a shock. Some of the facts may be hard for you to accept. I mean, I lived it. What's there else to, you know, be surprised about? Sibylla, the mayor's secretary, asked you to summon a devil in the abandoned building. You did as you were told and made a wish to kill someone. Without knowing what is the nature of a contract with a devil. You would think people would know considering it's illegal? What do you mean? Listen, making a deal with a devil has its cost. The legitimate contractor has to pay the cost. What the cost will be all depends on the devil. You mean my arms and legs were taken as the cost? That doesn't make any sense. I made a deal with you to be the feature pianist. Because of the payment you took, I can't be the feature pianist. I can't even play the piano anymore. Your wish was to kill the president of the Stella stage. The feature pianist or whatever was a motive for the murder, but it wasn't a contract itself. Oh. Devils set your soul in exchange, not money. Devils are that dangerous for humans. You can see it by now, can't you? That's why Sibylla talked you into making a deal. You were exploited by Burroughs and Sibylla. Why are you here? He must be feeling guilty. Why are you here? Our deal must be over already. Yes, it's done. The first contract to kill the president of Stella Stage is fulfilled. What do you mean, first contract? The first contract? You made another wish. Help me. Oh, I didn't know that counted. Also, I didn't know you could make multiple deals. I accepted it as the second contract. Oh, great. What else do I have to lose now? So I pulled you out of the sea, treated your wound, and carried you here. I thought it must be too hard to live without arms and legs. So I generously gave you those artificial legs. So sh show some appreciation. Uh, what about them arms, yo? I kinda need a full package? I said thank me, come on. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Good. Super weird. Where are the clothes I was wearing? Uh, did you change my clothes, dude? That's kind of weird. Well, my dress. It seems to be brand new. I looked for a similar dress and changed it for you. I am very uncomfortable with this. The old dress was soaked with blood and torn apart. You mean, you looked at... <laughs> looked at what? <laughs> I mean, you changed my dress, so... You must have touched me as well. This is a very uncomfortable conversation, dude. Just because you're a, you know, a supernatural being doesn't mean it's cool for you to be looking and touching me. You pervert! How dare you to taint a girl's innocence? Oh, I see. Don't worry, devils have no interest in a human's naked body, not even a little bit. Doesn't mean it's okay! Moreover, a kid like you has nothing to look at. As they say, 100 years too early. Ugh, you talk like a devil. I love this character, look at him, it's just his arm is like, eh, whatever. Well, I'm a devil. Breakthrough! Right <laughs> Why was that a mission? Are you slowly understanding the situation you're in? Then, get out of my way. Don't let me stand around and chit chat anymore. Well, you you are an asshole. <laughs> but what about that second contract? What does that mean? Are, are, what, I, I gotta pay for it? Are you slowly understanding the situation you're in? I mean, I guess I understand. I don't know. I don't get it, man. There is still something that I don't understand. I understand my current situation and... I figured out the reason why. You pulled me out of the ocean and stayed with me. Did you now? Well, tell me so I can see if you got it right. You're going to make me pay for the second contract. You saved my life, so you want me to pay the cost with my life. That seems pointless. <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> chuckle chuckle. 
You're wrong, little girl. What? I don't want such a meaningless deal. Listen, a contract with a devil should be of a much darker nature. Humans gamble with their souls to get ahead. It has to be something that is stupid, disgusting, and hilarious. Tear apart an arm to gain wealth, shred their life to be happy. Those sort of silly desires are the nature of making a deal with a noble devil. They snuggle in their pile of gold as their bodies are taken apart and bloody. That's the best entertainment. But look at Russell, he uses a loophole in the contract. And you're some stupid girl who doesn't even know what a devil is. It's absurd and spoiling the beauty of it. You humans should stop messing around and be more afraid of devils and respect our power. What? Excuse me, why are you taking it out on me out of the booth? I should be the one telling you to stop messing around. You don't make sense at all. If it's that important to you, you should make sure of it before making a deal. That's exactly. Before signing a contract, you should explain the details of the contract. I did ask you. It's your will to kill someone by making a deal with devil. How was I to understand that you should have made it clear? You silly millennial. <laughs> Birdhead. I'm not a bird, I'm a devil. No, I, I mean, it's kind of a crow head. Oh, never mind. We're both fooled into an unwanted deal. I'll cancel the contract, so please give me back my arms and legs. I don't think it works like that. You can't give back a life you took. Idiot, things are not that simple and convenient. No one returns from death, and you can't cancel the contract. Yep, guess you're stuck with those fake legs forever. Therefore, you have to live the rest of your life with your scar. And my armless body. No way. I can't play the piano without my arms and legs. I didn't even think about such a thing. I just wanted to be the best pianist. That's all I wanted. Hm. I have good news for you. What? I'm not a heartless machine, so I have some flexibility. You wish to kill the president of Stella Stage, but you were forced to wish that, right? I mean, I guess you could say I was coerced and tricked? Yes, that's right. If you knew that you were going to lose your arms and legs, you wouldn't have made the deal? Of course not. Alright, then that was an unfair deal. You can't cancel the deal, but I'll give you another chance. If you can defeat the puppeteer who tricked you into this, I'll give you back the cost you paid. Is that also a loophole? <laughs> Puppeteer? You mean... That a-hole, that, that a-hole mayor. That's probably how he became mayor. D through these loopholes. Russell Burroughs. He pretends to be a good person, but he is the biggest villain in the place. Even this contract of yours. But it had nothing to do with becoming the featured pianist. It was simply because the president of Stella Stage was interfering with Burroughs' money making. That's all. He's the true mafia boss behind all this. So he made up some stories to convince you, and took care of the president using the power of a devil. I assumed that was their intention. So how are we gonna take one down, huh? Can you give me some supernatural powers? Because as you can see, I'm missing some arms right here. Then, are you asking me to fight against Burroughs? It means you take revenge on that vicious mayor who tricked you and used you. You should destroy his bloody throne. I feel you're telling me a murderer person, but you know I'm totally down. <laughs> Revenge. You wish help me. This contract is valid until you complete your revenge that cut off revenge. To be honest with you, I'm furious. They exploited contracts with noble devils to give you revenge and regain your arms and legs. You need me and my power to fight against them. And I need to stop them and destroy this absurd contract. I need a legitimate contractor. I'm not pleased with this. However, we need each other to accomplish what we want. I can't forgive them. That's right. You can't forgive Burroughs and Sib Sibylla. Sibylla? So I'm going to go on my own. Yes. What are you going to do to them? Say it. How much do you hate them? I'll go talk to him directly. Well, that was very non-violent. <laughs> are you disappointed, Karen? What? Can I meet him at the mayor's residence? Oh, come on. The mayor's residence is their base. It's stupid to go straight to such a dangerous place. But I simply want to go there to ask some questions. What's wrong? 
It's perfectly clear to me now. You just don't have a brain after all. You're the living proof of their crime. To them, you're supposed to be dead by now. If the person who knows too much came to the door and said, Hello, it's me. What would they do? You would totally, definitely, and absolutely be killed this time. Forget it. But still, I can't believe anything until I talk to the mayor directly. Oh, you're so... You're so naive. It's hard to believe that the mayor is a villain. No one else in the place would believe it. You're so brainwashed that you're blind to the truth. No wonder Russell marked you at a, as a target. You don't have to follow me if you don't want to. I don't even know if you're telling me the truth. If I let you go alone, you're going to die in a second. It will never be able to overwrite the contract. If I die right now, does it mean I go to hell or whatever the devil's you know, contract may go to? Damn, just this once. If you don't take revenge on Burroughs, I have no reason to help you further. But I can't let you die now. I hope you sneak into the mayor's residence this one time. There's a lot of sneaking missions in this game. Mayor's residence, circumference one, what? How are you doing with your artificial legs? I just want to know why you can give me artificial arms, dude. I have no problem as long as I walk slowly. You can't use your arms to break your fall if you trip. I know it's some bow. Please stop making comments that make me mad. I know, you could have at least given me like something, I don't know, like a freaking crowbar as an arm or something. I feel like picking on you because you're insane. I need to hear it directly from him, otherwise I can't sort out my thoughts. Did Mayor Burroughs really deceive me, or... You're out of your mind. This is the guy who first deceived you, and then tried to kill you. But you'll voluntarily go to see him. So you naively think that truth can never be changed, little girl. But if talking to him will help you see that, I'll go with you this time. Noel Sarketti. Huh? That's my name, Devil Karen. How rude of you to call me you, or little girl. Too long. I won't even bother to remember your last name. Then Noel, Burroughs is in the mayor's residence. First, this garden. We'll slip by those security guards. Oh, why? <laughs> this game makes me save so many times. Talk about paranoia saver. Reach Noel's destination. <gasps> Sneaky mission. This is like those uh, VR training sessions and those Metal Gear Solid games. Noel is a NPC. What? What do you mean? During the mission, Noel moves around as AMP's NPC, so you control Karen instead. Why? What the hell? Karen should watch over and help her if she seems to have any trouble. That is bizarre. <laughs> Protecting her is your duty as her devil. I'm not her guardian angel, I'm just her devil. So I like stop her from walking? That is weird, dude. Oh jeez. It seems Noel wants to say something. What? What do you want? I was trying to sneak by. What are you saying? Are you even saying anything? Oh, I, I, did, I did like walk out of your place first. That was weird. There's a guard. The mayor's residence is the most important building in the city. It's under strict surveillance 24-7. Even your feeble mind should be able to understand how careful we have to be not to get caught. Why are we sneaking around? Uh, because we're breaking in someone's house? Can you just snap your fingers and be done with it like you did in the abandoned building? The devil is only allowed to use the miracle at the moment a deal properly goes through. It's possible if you want to have another contract with me right here. Oh, too many contracts right now, okay dude? Just resolve it one at a time. We have to sneak by the security and hide in shadows as we move ahead. But I can't move as fast as you can with these legs. I know, that guard is turning around real fast. Damn, how did I end up babysitting a suicidal girl? I support your body, so try not to fall. It will be much faster than keeping your balance and walk on your own. Since Noel can't walk fast, there are some points where she can't get through alone. Okay, if you come across a point that you have to pass quickly, Karen should support Noel's body and carry her with him. Okay, but how? <laughs> so I'm moving now, right? Ah, uh, we made it. Oh jeez. <laughs> what is this ridiculous crap? Alright, bye dude. Breakthrough! Uh, 
These small missions are really weird, but I like them. Alright. Now what? Ooh, what's that? Ooh, I got ointment. Can I use it? What's up? What's up, girl? Oh? What? Oh my god. Who's there? They caught us. Oh, well, why did you stand out in the open? Damn, you were too careless. There are only a few guards. Maybe I can take them out before they alert the others. Did I screw that up? I'm very confuzzled. Noel is fragile and there is no way she can fight, but Karen has no problems fighting. He can easily overpower humans in battle. Oh, it's battle time! Ha ha ha! You should body slam your enemies. But don't forget, Karen has to act as her shield. Don't let enemies come anywhere close to Noel. Alright, dude. How do I do this? Oh my god. Body slam! Oh my god. <laughs> what the freaking hell is that battle? That is weird, dude. Also, I have life. Oh my god. Also, what is that arrow thing up there under in the top right corner? It's going down. I'm impressed. A devil can easily take down humans. I don't think we should be impressed with him murdering people. Don't take this so casually. Technically, I'm not a devil who fights often. I mean, just look how fancy he dresses. You just know he don't fight. He goes to like parties. I can overpower humans easily. But I'll be exhausted if I have to keep fighting for a long time. Then you're actually not that strong. I'm slightly disappointed. You're the last person who can say that. She is so snarky for someone who has lost all their limbs. <laughs> I mean, guess that's why she's so salty. Let me remind you before you get the wrong idea. I'm only helping you for now to fulfill our contract. You should know that I'm not your friend. I know. Good. Alright, what's this? Ooh, life replenish. If you find a white glowing box, it's a first aid kit. Okay, she went off without me, thanks. You restore Karen's health, open whatever you find it. I opened it. Or did it. Oh, oh, it doesn't go away. Alright, cool. Oh my god! This asshole mayor lives in such a big house. Okay, that guard's gonna be harder to avoid, I feel like. I see the residents were almost there. I like to ask you just in case, but how are you gonna break into the building? Of course we'll find a random open window or something. Oh genius. <laughs> it's sneaking from there. Damn, we shouldn't stand in front of the building. We have to go to the back of the building? Uh what? You see the alley way right in front of us. It will lead us to the back of the residence. I see. Well then, we should go in right away. Hey, you idiot! Hold on! What is it? Stop yelling, guys! Don't you see that searchlight that's pointing at the alley? That's a searchlight? <laughs> I thought that was just the game indicating to me that I should go there. Oh, it wasn't just a streetlight. That's a very bright streetlight, dude. You're so ignorant. But you still want to sneak into the mayor's residence. Listen, we have to do something about the searchlight first. That's a lot of crap to do, man. Otherwise, we can't move ahead. It looks like the searchlights are placed on the rooftop. How do we even get to the rooftop in the first place? Hey, there's a first aid kit up there. The only way to move them is for me to go up there and change its direction. Okay, time to body slam some guys. <laughs> However, how are you going to make it to the rooftop? It's not that difficult to go up there if I'm by myself. Haha, <laughs> I know, right? I'm so amazing. If I can leave you here, breaking into the building becomes much easier as well. That's pointless. I know, so I'm going to take care of the lights. Let's see, is there any place to go up around here? I wonder. Back attack. When Kira attacks enemies from behind, he will successfully hit with back attack. Okay, so what does that mean? He takes down most enemies in one shot and Kira doesn't take any damage. Okay, so like when I body slam them, it hurts, takes away my life because, you know, that shit hurts. But if I could back attack them, that should spare my life. Try it whenever you get a chance. Well, guys, I'm gonna leave this episode here because we're about to take on an intense mission to break into that rooftop thing. I can't do it by the search slide, blah blah blah. I know I have to take care of it. Well, is there any place I can climb? Okay, she's not gonna be useful. I don't have to figure out my own way. So, my goodness, why are we breaking into his house? I. She's so naive. I just wanna be like, that guy's an asshole. Can we just take him down right now? But you know what? We're gonna do it her way because she wants to do that before she absolutely confirms that we're gonna take down his ass. But we have another contract now, so I don't really get. Is he not going to take our limbs? I, I, I get the feeling that the price for the contract is getting revenge. So I guess in that way we will not have to really quote unquote pay. But I just want to know, Karen, are you going to give me arms anytime soon? No? Okay, no? Well, I, got, I don't know. But in case, we will carry out this mission in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Let me know what you think about it and I will see you guys in the next video.